Welcome back to SEO Core Fundamentals, where you're going to learn the skills to master search engine optimization. And this is video number two, searching and ranking, where we're going to cover kind of the nuts and bolts here. So let's break it down. What is SEO in a nutshell? And basically, it's built on three kind of players, and you know it, the who, the searcher, the what, the search engine, that's what we're optimizing, and you, you the, the web page, the optimizer, okay? So in the mind of the searcher, what we want to do is kind of get in their mind. Where do they want to go? What are they trying to do? What's the information that's going to make them smarter? Smarter. And the more that we can think about what the searcher is thinking about, the more we can optimize for it. And then what are we thinking about? We're thinking about what's the content that I can use to match that search? How can I make my pages faster? How can I do this better? How can I get Google's attention? How can I get them to rank me better? That's in the mind of us. And basically that is to optimize the web. How can we make that better? And it's all built on this search demand curve. Okay. The bigger words or the, what we call head words or the fat words are harder. And the small words or the words down at the bottom are where we kind of generally want to target the long tail of search. And we're going to break that down in our keyword part of it. The SERP part of it, the SERP as they call it, is a search engine's results page. And this basically is kind of when you type into Google a search phrase, the listings that show up, that's what this page is. And showing up in the first five positions is responsible for 67% of all the clicks, which is why we want to optimize and get up there in the top of that. So let's discuss how it works. Basically, Google crawls your site with a little bit of code we call spider or a robot. Once they crawl your site, then they basically index it based on these 200 ranking factors built on those four categories. Okay. And you kind of see a little bit of sample there. And then once they index it based on that, it, this is how it works. The person comes, they type into the search engine, their keyword phrase, and then that's kind of where Google lists where you show up in the SERP based on those factors and then gets delivered to the searcher who's looking for the results. And basically that's to provide value. And how do they do it for free? They do it for free with our help, but they do it for free and basically match the user intent. And they basically are there to give the answers quickly. And with our help, they get repeat users. They get the ability to advertise to them, which is why we're in this together. And so what do they want? How can we make them happier to get our pages ranked better? And ultimately it's to make the customers happier. Okay. It's to get that click through, making sure your meta description on the SERP is clickable for people to go to the page that when they get there, that they don't bounce off of it and come back and that they stay a while that there was intentions there that people want to stay, that it was exactly what they're looking for. And did they share it? Did they kind of, want to review it. That's how Google knows that it's good content. And is it saving money for them? Meaning are they staying? Are they going further? And the technical optimizations, are you helping them out there? And that's why we're going to dive into that in the technical factors. And there's 200 plus factors that's going to determine where you show up and how much traffic you get based on these four categories and these four pillars. So ultimately the task of SEO, breaking down this ranking and searching is to deliver the most relevant and engaging results. What are the customers typing in and what's the stage in which you're trying to leverage with SEO? Okay. So what are you targeting? What are you creating that you want them to find online based on these four factors? So we have to match the intentions of the searcher. So let's look at that informational and we're going to break these down in the keyword part of this uh, training where we're going to look at navigational are people looking to go somewhere are people wanting to make a transaction are they wanting to buy something and are they looking for commercial investigation in other words this is do no go what are their intentions do they want to do something are they looking to take action on something book something buy something uh, do they want to know something commercial intent are they looking for reviews are they looking to compare and are they looking to go somewhere? Um, you know, I want to go to a coffee shop or I'm looking for a park or whatever. This is kind of how we want to target and we want to think, remember the mind of the searcher. Now, other considerations to keep in mind, are they typing in the branded words like Microsoft or, you know, typing in something important? Are they looking for other words that's related? That's our secondary words we're going to talk about. And are they really typing in specific local 
versus non-local terms. That's something we also want to take in consideration. And the primary SEO question that we always have here, or what are my searchers typing into Google right now that I have resources for right now that I can target? Now, remember these four categories, the keyword, document, increasing authority, and technical optimization? Let's recap this, okay? So basically, the best ranking factors and the best way to get to the top of the SERPs is to create content that matches what the searcher wants, needs, and desires. In other words, researcher intent plus content creation. The second thing is basically design that content so Google knows the terms that you're targeting, okay? And there's an easy way to do that, and I'll show you how to do that. That's using on-page factors where we can instruct Google the keyword that we're targeting, okay? And is it the best? Meaning, if it is the best, remember that best quality content, it'll be shared. That's your off-page factor, and make sure the content lives in a safe, secure location. That's some of our technical factors, and that's just so that it can show up in mobile, that it's easy to use, that it's quick, and that it's secure. Again, if you do these four things, you will rank in the top of the search engines. Now, the best ranking measurements, I always say, is keeping customers happy. Remember what makes Google happy? That also makes us happy, and more so, conversions. Getting people who are happy and in the right place and doing the right thing with the right content leads to better conversions. So our SEO takeaways from this particular video is if you want to have the best results, we have to insist on quality over quantity and get involved in the SEO community because remember in the first video that things are constantly changing. There's 200 ranking factors today, but that plus number keeps going up. So you want to stay in the community and set the right goals with the right time frame expectations. And we'll talk about that as we move forward and match the searcher intent with the most optimized page to get a number one listing in the SERP. And that's how you do it. So next up, we're gonna talk about the ranking factors that help you get to the top of Google.